Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to use conditional statements in our SolidJS. Let's understand these conditional statements in SolidJS with an example. Let me use a signal called as solid sig and I let me set a state something like show and this is something like set show. So now let me use a boolean value like false and let me create a button over here on this button click like mark as show so that is my button and on clicking on this button I want to update my set show to true set show as true and let me save this now let me use a paragraph and this paragraph should show something like when my show is true then I want to show this as marked and if it is not shown then it should be used as not marked so this is my condition so we are using a condition over here based on our value so show is a signal so I need to call it and save this now whenever the user clicks on this button it will be marked as true and we need to see marked and whenever it launches the application then it should show something like not marked let me go into the browser and you can see here not marked when the user clicks on mark as show this is converted into marked so this is how you can use conditional statements and even not only this SolidJS has provided one more approach for handling this not with the value and the ternary operator they have provided us some set of elements that is nothing but show element this is from SolidJS and this show element will have a property called as when when to show this I want to show this when my show value is equivalent to true so when it is equivalent to true either we can write like this or just write this show so what this when attribute will expect it always expect a boolean value that is true or false when this is true I want to show a paragraph something like mark and we need to show not marked that means else case when this is false I want to show it as not marked in that case how to handle there is another property called as fallback so whenever the condition is false then it will go and fetch the fallback this fallback can have an element text or anything whatever the component you want to show in the callback you can show it for now it is a paragraph so I can show something like not mark save this now you can see whenever this is true then this will be showing the inner HTML of this show element and if it is false then it will call the fallback function and this fallback function will receive the value over here and that value will be shown in the UI if you see here initially it is false now what will happen is whenever I click on this button then it will show as marked whenever this is false it will show it as not marked the same approach but by we are using something called as show so let me go here and when I click on this you can see marked it is working as expected let me reload not worked and mark it as show so this fallback will always expect a element that may be any JSX element for example you can use any predefined HTML or any of the custom component which is created by solid and is called as a solid component either a solid component you can use or any HTML content so now we are using a HTML content let me showcase this by using one more component that is custom component let me create a file called as not not marked component with JSX and let me create this by using solid component and hit enter now it is not marked let me save this and format this I can use this not marked component in my fallback so let me go here into the fallback and let me create this and self close this component and in the same way I have something like marked component so let me create one more file called as marked.jsx and solid comp and it created a component called as mark and now this marked component I can keep it here so now we are using a custom components on a show component which is given by SolidJS so and not only this two approaches we have one more approach that is and operator for example you want to show only 
one case that means if this is true I want to show mark otherwise I should not show anything so let me comment this now here what I can do is I can use a binding and this binding will receive a value if this value is true then I want to show it as marked otherwise I want to I don't want to show anything that means you are using only and operator and we are not using any fallback if this is true then only show this otherwise it will not expect any value by default it is false hence it will not show any value for us let me go here and just clear this and reload now you have mark as show but no label because it is false when I click this you can see marked only one condition you have that is like a simple if if you have only simple if then you can use only this case with and operator in the same way you can even use over that show component if you want to show only when this is true and you don't want to use a fallback you can just remove this it will act like a simple if so whenever you are using a when property without a fallback then it, it will be treating it as simple if and if you want to use like an if else then you can use a fallback property so that when will be acting like a true statement fallback will act like a false statement so let me go here and if you see here you have mark as show and when you click this you will be seeing two marked one is from show component and one is from and operator so let me comment this for clear understanding let me save this and reload now click on this you can see marked so this marked component is coming from show and you don't have a fallback function that's why it is waiting until this becoming true so these are the three ways which we can use in our solid JS for using the conditional statements in our upcoming videos we will see other control statements like for loop as well as switch cases hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you